In this video, we'll take a look at how to do a simple EV calculation in tournament mode. For that, I'll set up a tree of small blind versus big blind. Blinds are 100 and 200. And both big blind and small blind have a stack of 2000 chips. Please note the little star behind their names to indicate that they have been selected for the tree. Let me switch the tournament mode here, so that the tournament data button is available. There's four additional players in the hand, and they each also have a stack of 2000 chips. I'll start the tree. And let's say that we want to know the expected value for small blind, if he shoves all in with all hands, and big blind calls with all hands. Again, here in the lower left we have the tournament pop-up with a sum-up of the situation. And there's an item in red here, indicating that data is still missing. Ah, apparently we still need a price structure, which we can edit by pressing Ctrl plus F3. However, we can also get to that menu by clicking on the tournament icon. Ok, so we'll set a price structure of 50, 30, 20. And for the purposes of this video, I'll set the output as the total amount of prize money, as opposed to a percentage of the prize pool. OK, and compute. And apparently, this strategy loses small blind $1.55. Big blind is also losing, and not surprisingly, it's the four players who are not in this hand who are profiting from the horrific play by small blind and big blind. Now, if we want to calculate small blinds expected value manually, how would we go about this? Well, there's three distinct outcomes here for small blind. He can win, in which case the stack distribution will become 4000, 0, and 4 times 2000 for the other players. He can lose, in which case the stack distribution will become 0, 4000, and 4 times 2000. And he can tie, which will mean all players will have a stack of 2000 chips. To see what the stack is worth in a certain stack distribution, you can use the software's ICM calculator. For that, press the icon for the ICM calculator in the toolbar. Given that you're in tournament mode, the price structure and the starting stacks will automatically be loaded into the tool. And apparently, if all players hold a stack of 2000, then small blind stack is worth $16.67. On the other hand, if small blind shoves and wins, his stack will be worth $28.67. And finally, if small blind shoves and loses, then his stack will be worth nothing. So, here we have the three outcomes and their associated values for small blind stack. Using a program like PokerStove, we can see that the chance of small blind winning here is 47.97%. And the chance of small blind losing is also 47.97%. And finally, the chance of there being a tie is 4.06%. And therefore, the value of small blind stack after shuffling and being called will on average be... $14.43. However, this is not the answer that the software has arrived at. And that's because there's still one step missing. The value of your stack after your action still needs to be compared to the value it would have had if you had simply folded. If small blind had folded in this spot and let big blind have the pot, then the stack distribution would have become 1900, 2100 and 4 times 2000. 
This is because a small blind would have simply lost his blind of 100 chips and it would have gone to big blind. So if small blind would have simply folded, then the value of his stack would have been... $15.98. So if small blind shoves and gets cold, his stack will be worth $14.43. However, if he just folds, his stack will be worth $15.98. That makes pushing $1.55 worse than just giving up. And this is indeed the value for small blinds action that the software has arrived at. So basically, whenever the software performs an ICM calculation for a decision, it will need to determine the value of folding as well since that is what the actions a player makes need to be compared to. To tell you that the software was successful in determining the value of the stack after folding, a little information icon will be displayed to the lower left of the decision. And if you mouse over it, a pop-up will tell you compared to which scenario after folding all stack values are evaluated. So in this case this is small blind folds and big blind wins the pot. Given that this outcome after folding is nothing less than a mathematical fact, the software uses this blue eye icon to tell you that everything is fine for this decision. Now there are spots in tournaments where the value of your stack after folding cannot be determined mathematically. In that case, you'll see a red exclamation icon instead of the blue eye icon. This happens, for example, here, in this hand of button versus small blind versus big blind. And this is because it's not possible to determine what happens after button folds, because small blind and big blind will still be left to act. And therefore, you can't tell, from a mathematical point of view, what they're going to do after button folds. For more on that subject, and how to deal with it, Please see the next video. Incidentally, you will only see these icons for tournament calculations. For cash games, determining the value after folding is trivial. After all, in a cash game, the value of your stack after folding is simply whatever you have left in front of you. So, these icons will only show up in tournament calculations to inform you of whether or not a reference point has been found.